Dinosaur Project. My name is Jordy, and this is more Plants vs. Zombies. Now, last time I played this, I got to the end of stage three, which is the daytime backyard level with the pool down the middle. It got a little hairy in some places in there, but I did make it through. So now we are moving on to stage four, which based on this pattern, I it's probably gonna be a nighttime backyard level. I don't remember, but that's my guess. Oh, look at that. Patterns. You know, they used to call me Fog Man. Crazy Dave wasn't quirky enough. Because I would hang out in the fog and jump out at people. I don't like that, Dave. Got a problem with that. Ah, those were the days. Is that, that's it? That's all you had to add? Thanks. Thanks, Dave, for that input. Okay, so we're gonna load up on some nighttime things as well as some pool things and we've got these really cool little sea shrooms now too. Those function sort of like puff shrooms combined with lily pads. You don't have to put a lily pad under it, you just plant it straight in the water. Uh, it's also zero sun to get those but it does take longer to recharge than the regular puff shrooms. Now, the fog. You can't see anything in the fog. I don't know why it's only in the backyard and not the front yard, but you can't see anything through the fog. What I like to do to combat this is to uh, put puff shrooms right along the edge so you can see when they're coming. Like, you can see this little dude right over the top. Actually, you can't because I put my face cam there. <laughs> but for the most part, you can't see uh, where any of the zombies are. So I put them right at the edge of the fog, and then you can see those start moving, and that's how you know there's a zombie in that row. All right, so this level's only got one flag, so I think I'm gonna stick with just one row of sun shrooms. I think that'll be good. I will say this every time if I have to, but I absolutely love the soundtrack of this game. Ready, 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 ready? Light them up! That thing's a plant, which is a little weird, but I'm not here to judge. What I don't understand about uh, these these little glowy boys here is how they get their power. Because presumably you're not sending like electricity to these plants. So is it like lightning bugs how they just like generate their own like glow i guess or i don't know i've got questions i feel like i sink into the same rut sort of pattern as i did in the daytime levels with the pea shooters with just really like focusing on the scaredy shrooms here but I don't have anything like different to use for mushrooms. I don't have any other mushrooms. It's just like, this is all I got. What if I did a nighttime level with like only daytime plants? What the fuck do you do? I'm like racking, like trying to remember what the point of this guy is. Cause I remember there like being a point, but I don't remember what it was. Or like, I can't think of what it could possibly be. Why does he have a fucking jack-in-the-box what's going on there he goes this is a normal zombie why the jack-in-the-box i don't get it going around eating other people's plants horrible neighbors awful god awful can't stand them. we're using only daytime plants because fuck the rules i don't care i don't give a shit that's probably a nighttime plant Yes, gotta commit to the bit. Gotta commit to the fucking bit. This is gonna be a disaster, I can already tell you that right now. This is gonna be a disaster, I'm going to die. This was a horrible idea. No, mm-mm, mm-mm, bad idea. Bad, 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 bad. At any given moment, I am on the last straw of this being able to work as a functioning plan. This is a bad idea. This is a horrible idea. 
there's a reason they make plans specifically for nighttime levels. <laughs> Honestly, though, I am halfway through the level, so in theory, as long as I like super puppy guard these two levels down here, because I or these two rows down here, because I just lost uh, the lawnmowers, I might be able to make it. Oh no. Well, that didn't work. What if instead of doing that nonsense there, pulling, pulling all that bullshit, what if instead of pulling all that bullshit, I did, I thought about this for a minute instead. Okay, we're gonna try this again. And this time we're gonna use our thinky brains. There we go. Pointy boy. Got a little hat. Nice fancy little hat. He's gonna chicken out in a hot second. So we're gonna put in a pointy boy. Pointy girl. Oh. Um, excuse you. Not only are you trespassing on my yard, but you're trying to eat my plants, and I'd really rather if you didn't. I am doubling the amount of sun shrooms. For maximum sunshine. I totally just slipped back into hyper focus. I'm so sorry. My only two uh, settings are what the fuck am I saying right now? Or I have not said a single word in the past 96 years. There's really no in between. Get out of my pool. I didn't invite you. It's gotta be like really unsanitary to have like corpses <laughs> coming in and out of your pool. Also, what the fucking dolphin? Did they just carry the dolphin from wherever? Like, uh, hello? Those need water, my dude. found my magic taco! Forgot his shop was called Crazy Dave's Twitty Dinkies. <laughs> oh no! I must have it. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Yeah, I'll take a thousand dollars for a taco I found. Yes! The taco is mine! Why'd I give you so much money for a taco? Because I'm crazy! We can tell, Dave. There's no need to shout. Take a look around my shop. You'll notice some new items in stock. Okay. I like the pool cleaners because um, with the lawn mowers, when it goes to go over the pool, it only goes in that first, uh, the very first column because lawn mowers can't drive on pools. Wow. Wow. Ah, oh, the green ones are definitely plants. Oh, and the other ones have question marks. Very good. Very, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Very good. That's why you start breaking them from the backs a ways. Because then they uh, take more time. I'd like if I uh, had a squash or something. Hey, asking you shall receive. I feel like this is too simple compared to the other mini game, midpoint mini games. I don't trust it. That's not what I wanted to do with that plant at all. But here we are at SeaWorld! I like the idea of the putting these mini games as like the- Oh fuck. That's gonna do me a whole lot of good! Are these all plants? No, that one's not a plant. No more plants, I guess! That's cool. Disco Undead Achievement- Oh! That's what the fucking jack-in-the-box does. Okay. I can fuck with that. Okay. 
I'm gonna cut this video here. This is gonna be the end of that. I really like this game. I love getting back into it. Um, and I love like rediscovering things that I forgot about or that I didn't notice before. I don't remember if I noticed it or not or if I did and just forgot about it. I don't know what I'm saying. I can speak English perfectly well. But I also like that we're like collecting all the plants. I wanna get all of them. We're gonna unlock every fucking plant there is. And we're gonna plant all of them in one go No, I can't do that. There's only like seven seed slots. But I'm gonna- I want all of them. But thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. If you like this video, be sure to show the like button some love and share it with your friends. I don't know why I stumbled over that. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Bye.